Welcome to the History Hunter. Welcome to our fantastic adventures with the World War II time frame and welcome to one of the most unique World War II locations that we have ever been to. It's History Hunter here Eagle and Ice. Eagle Eyes Hello. doing a fantastic job. Just have to say massive thank you to him. But if you want to figure out what is here, you can join us in this video. But before you do that, go here where it says more. Click that link for that video. That is part one for this video. Watch that video in full to get a full context and you will be blown away by the beauty of this position or location. And then come back here to part two and continue the explore with us because you're gonna be blown away about what we found up there. See that? That's radioactive toothpaste that the Germans used during the Second World War. These are genuine artifacts. These are pieces from a Messerschmitt 109. These are the cartridges that were supposed to be fired by the 109. But this is not what it's all about. But these are other explorers that we're going to share with you. Today, it's the second part of this little mini series of this very, very special German World War II island. There's one word that uh, sums it up, and that is stunning. The part one, you'll find that here where it says more. Click that in there, there's a link for part one and you won't miss that. Watch it first in full and then come back and watch this and you get the full context. This is an amazing place lost in time, totally untouched by modern ages. And there's only one way to get there, that's by low tide in the morning or in the afternoon. And there are features there that we never, never knew existed. But one of my dream locations and it really came true and it's thanks to you and it's a part of the Northern Front World War II road trip that you guys made possible. Thank you so much for being in there for us. And when we get to this island, you won't regret watching it because it's one gem that you've never seen before. If you want to help us out, watch the video in full, watch more of our videos. Let's go back in time and find the German World War II island. Just wanted to have a little peek over this little ridge here, overlooking the ocean. You can see a lot of barbed wire here as well. I'm guessing this was the upper perimeter fence. You can see that's the hill where we checked out the flat gun position. The uh, artillery position is there. The water um, reservoir is there. I just wanted to see what this place was all about. Again, it's so much barbed wire. And I'm kind of like, why didn't they kind of, you know, removed completely and you can see it's actually cast it into the rock with a slab of concrete there i'm guessing they just rolled it up and said we'll do it later but nobody did <laughs> also right there sometimes you can see they have filled these ponds with the the uh, barbed wire and it's kind of rusting away down there uh, i cannot see any uh positions here so we're going to continue going up the hillside there you know, Eagle Eye said, it's cotton, Daddy. And it really looks like it. See that? Bog cotton. Cool, nice. There's a huge trench coming up here. And you can see it goes into what looks to be like a bunker. See that? So is this a combination of a bunker and ammo storage, something like that? But to figure out that, we have to go First down here into the trench. And this is interesting. This is actually camouflage canvas webbing that normally hang or hung over. You can see everything here is still here. That hung over here. And the camouflage webbing would protect the soldiers under here. Now it's the trees that's kind of covering it up. But some of the strands are still hanging in the mountainside there. Come on, let's see what's in here. All right, I'm in the trench. And you should see above me here, this thing here is the original uh, protection system with the camel paint and the camouflage canvas. Oh, I see. It's just a room. Oh, not sun. This half circle here, you see that? Half pipe or velblesh. Meaning that used, oh, they used the, they flattened the, uh, the curved ones. You see on the roof here? These are normally a curved type and they flattened them to use them like a flat type. This is heavy duty metal here. And then you can see exit here. Very interesting. Let's go to the top and see what they put up there. Wow. 
everywhere there are these rods, camouflage canvas, hookup points, all of that. And then you come up here. Oh, it's a flak 20. You can definitely see that. Yeah, you have one pedestal. The other pedestal with a round hole is right there. Oh, I see something more there. Yeah, and then the third pedestal is right there. That's the original uh, um, munition pouches, pockets, and the wood is still in there. And if you see here, this is the setup. So they came from down below here, went into the position, and you had your second FLAC 20. So we have FLAC 20 millimeter, FLAC 38 down there. You have artillery gun position, wood tower, all of that. And then boom, you have this place on the top here. And again, you can see why it's here. That is because you can reach anything from up here. And I have to say, this is now one of my favorite positions because we never expected this place to be as beautiful and containing so many features as it does. You see the German soldiers came in from here and then boom, look at that huge thing there. That is definitely a pedestal, an attachment for a gun. Definitely, I, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bet 100% that that is an attachment for a gun. And you can see they cut out the mountain again. You can see the drill kind of, this is where the drill went in. There's a drill went in there. They blasted this hole They're a little deep into the terrain here. And now suddenly they have this massive lookout position, fighting position, and they could attack whoever they wanted from right here. Definitely a massive, some, what is that? That is a, that's a tunnel, Eagle Eyes. That is a tunnel. You gotta be kidding me. There's a, there's a freaking tunnel in the mountainside here. Let me see. You see there's a hole there? There's a hole there? You gotta be kidding me. There's a freaking tunnel right there. See that? This is the roof of the tunnel. And there's actually a tiny little opening there. What is going on here? I think the tunnel goes there. Maybe the entrance is here. I'm actually walking on top of a tunnel in the middle of nowhere. How crazy is that? Let me see. Could this be an entrance? I think there's an entrance here, you guys. You see that? And you can see this massive tunnel going into the terrain. That is crazy. Did you know that you can become a World War II History Hunter team member and the artifacts here could be passed on to you in this manner and fashion here by creating beautiful World War II dioramas and displays? You can be the future keeper of something very, very special by the history and the history hunting that we share together. Check out the link in the video description. You can click that and you can become a patron team member if you want to. Different kind of perks with for your eyes only videos, travel vlogs, restoration projects, all of that good stuff. And if you want to know more, check out the supporter videos in the beginning of each month. But now let's continue our little adventure. So let's enter this, what seems to be a tunnel system. This is out of this world. I wonder what that tunnel leads to. I can feel a draft, so it definitely goes through. <laughs> wow, like a munition pocket here. Another munition pocket. So let's turn around, let them see. We came in from there. And the very strange thing is that you see up here, like openings that could never be for fighting out from, huh? Windows. Maybe this one was because it's a bit bigger, but it's flat and parallel. So I'm guessing just to let light in, I don't know. A huge stacked wall there. Oh, it goes in. Oh, look at that. It goes out here. And time has stood still here. Look at those. Is that stalactites or stagnites? Oh, those are big. Yeah. This is power supply coming in. There's another hole. And right there, they could have had power supply unit and all of these different features and fixtures. Wow. 
Incredible. Just imagine, this is on an island with limited... Oh, wow. Eagle eyes. Hold this. Hold this. Hold this. There is one of the original connectors. Can you see that? Why is that thing oh, there's rusty? There. There's a gun there. Oh, it's an artillery gun position. That is why this is here. Can we turn? Is that one of the lids for the... No. Should be... Look at that. The original wood is still there. Oh, wow. This is a artillery gun position, which is very difficult to see right now. 10.5 centimeter guns were fixated onto this pedestal. Basically, just regular guns with wheels fixated onto that. And this is what this place is all about. This huge swiveling plate here. This right here. The gun barrel would point in any direction and around that could be mill radian kind of uh, rings around here which dedicates or says where exactly the crew should point the gun and the firing solution would come from the uh, the uh, control bunker and then it was all a matter of a combination of the crew's skills and the conditions and doing the right things and then boom off and out there that's where the artillery shell went and there's not much to see here right now but I was pretty happy to see that this thing here was still here that's the fixture for the gun itself and if you see here I think this is the uh, wagon which the uh, wheels are yeah you see here I'm gonna go to this side and you can see that this is what the back end of the uh, of the thing from the gun was attached, you see that the wheel there? So the gun was attached to this and then they can swivel this gun around on the track system that is actually down in the ground here still, but it's completely overgrown so you cannot see that. That was spectacular to see. And they only could access the uh, gun position from this tunnel system. How awesome is that? So what is going on here? Never seen so much blasted rock in my entire life. What is going on here? That is a huge, you can almost hear my echo. This could either be a place where they placed, a position where they had a barrack inside, or they actually took rock out of it to create all the rest of the stuff. I haven't got a clue, but that is, is that the, uh, I think there was a barrack actually inside here. And if there was a barrack inside that, you can imagine a picture like this. Yeah, they tried to hide a barrack in here. That's why they stacked all of this around. And I guess they took camouflage canvas on top and then the hut barrack would be completely, you know, invisible. See here, Eagle Eyes, he was kind of passing this little thing here. And he said, Daddy, a bridge? And I said, wow, that's a tiny little bridge. And if there's a bridge, why did someone build a bridge here? Look where you are. This is in no man's land. So they built a bridge. And then suddenly we just turned around. And let me show you. We think we found at least the start of what was here. Or what is here. Yeah, there are so many mosquitoes. So we are dressing up with the mosquito hats and all that. You see here? Da -da -da. There's actually something going on in there. I cannot make out what it is. It's a very, very small tunnel. But I think it's in conjunction with what is on the top there. So instead of trying to get into that tunnel... Yeah, you can. You can go if you want to. I'm going to do the hard way, be an extra explorer <laughs> and walk to the top with you guys. And I do think I know what's here. This is the last 10.5 centimeter gun position, indeed. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Holy pancake. Ladies and gentlemen, it is officially impossible 
to bring you a more incredible World Two position than this. See where you are. Look at the features here. Look at the mountains. Look at the ocean. And then see where the Germans decided that this is where we want to be. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Our research sometimes just pays off so much. It doesn't have to be that there are a million of people who want to see it, but that we actually can confirm and say, yes, we found it. We found the place. And we did. Because right there, that would be the scene of a 10.5 centimeter gun crew. And you can imagine maybe something like this. That took place right there. Oh, that's a pain. Just got three bits during one second here. One bit through my sweater, one actually bit through my glove that I'm trying to protect myself with holding the camera for so long, and one bit through my trousers. How cool. Wow. This round here is the metal ring that some wheels swiveled the gun as you saw further down. There's a huge plate just rusting away, the attachment for the 10.5 centimeter gun. I think the dolly, the wheel dolly that the gun could rotate around is right there and it hasn't been removed. That was last used on this gun and the wheel, one wheel there is missing. And this is what turned the gun. Oh wow, I don't know what to say other than this. It's one of the most spectacular, I mean it, guys and girls, most spectacular uh, positions we have ever, ever been to. But we have a final little feature here that we want to share with you. So come along and let, let us show you that. I just want to say also something here. I want to say a massive thank you to one special person that is following me on this epic journey. And that is this gentleman or young gentleman behind me here. Thank you, Eagle Eyes, for your very, very, very kind support on this trip. You've been an absolute trooper. Thank you, Daddy, for the adventures. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. He is such a strong boy. He can outwalk anyone and he can navigate. He can sniff out all the things that I cannot see. And everywhere we go, he will come like, Daddy, you forgot that one. Daddy, you didn't see that one. Daddy, that is there. Why did you see that? Why did you feel blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so he is such an incredible guy, a little boy. So give him some love in the comment field. I just appreciate if you do that. So up here is the main feature. All of these positions here on the island had to be controlled because if you're going to fire guns, you're going to fire flak guns, whatever, at a target, incoming aircraft or whatever, you need to coordinate things. And to do that, you need one specific position that took care of that. And that is right there. That is the fire and control bunker. And that is placed absolutely on the top of the hill here and around that is several structures there's a bunker there's a barrack foundation but this is the main headquarter where all the important decisions were taken and uh, i thought we're going to have a little peek around here and uh, see what we can find i spotted something laying around here on the outside i think it's actually some of the electronic cables and stuff it's it's you see here it's just laying here that is what was supposed to be inside on the, in the mounts where the electronics were attached. See that? It's just laying here on the outside. And that's one of the markings. That tag there would have the mark. That's just laying on the outside here. So I guess someone ripped that out. And you can see where we are. Hopefully, the low tide will stay out long enough for us to actually get back that way there. <laughs> All right, let's see what's inside this fire and control bunker. It's definitely a German World War II artifact. See that? It's a 500 liter Kraftstoff. That's a 200 liter fuel drum barrel. And it's just staying there. But I can see that the one that would identify it, the ends are not here. That is cool. That is also next to the fire and control bunker. Eagle Eye has just been, oh, I'm almost falling here. 
just been inside because it's cool inside. So we have this room here. This is very coarse. You can see that it is not like a regular uh, high definition kind of... Uh, why isn't my flashlight working? Can I borrow yours, Eagle Eyes? Let me see. There we are. So this place is rather just out there. That is a, uh, is that a door for a bunker oven? It's a door for a bunker oven. Uh, some modern trash and stuff here. So this, this is where the important decisions were made. And you can see it's all pointing out towards this area here. Because this is all that matters for the Germans. They needed to protect that entrance for the whole fjord area and that was out there. No point in trying to have something to do with that or there or maybe over there because if you spotted the enemy he would 99.99% for sure if it was a vessel come from over there. Wow. Sometimes all you can say is wow. And I don't know what to say. This was such a treat. Daddy, this was fantastic. Thank you for taking me here. Okay, hey guys, thank you again for being such Wait, a trooper. Mosquito. And get the mosquito away from me, I hate them. Let me <sighs> thank you for being a trooper. And what can I say? There is nothing more to say. Look at this. This is out of this world experience. And I hope we'll be able to get back. But now we have one mission, and that is to get back before the tide starts to come up. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yes, we made it. We are back. What an incredible German World War II location. If you want to help us out to reach more locations, we have this fantastic little simple feature for you here. Super thanks. That is your opportunity to help us out to get some gasoline into the fuel tank and go out and find even more incredible features like this. Thank you again, everybody, for watching, subscribing, commenting. Thank you for being here. Thank you, our Patreon team members. It is so greatly appreciated. And thank you, Eagle Eyes, for having such a good spirit out there and kicking the old man in gear and do this because this was one of my dreams. I've been studying this incredible location area for a long time and i said that is a place we want to go to and you made it come true so thank you for that there's going to be a lot more we're going to check out the radioactive toothpaste we're going to check out crash sites of aircraft we're going to go underwater we're going to go top to the mountains you won't you won't believe what we have in store for you on this uh, northern front road trip that you made possible all right, thank you. We will make sure that you can see more very, very soon. Stay safe, keep smiling, and we'll see you later.